Hi, my name is Alex Spencer, and this is a tutorial for Tuts Plus. You know, it wasn't too long ago that installing software on our computers meant going to the local electronic store and buying a CD. Nowadays, most software is found online, either through app stores or third-party websites. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to manage your applications on the Mac. So I'll be showing you how to install applications from the Apple App Store, remove those applications if they don't meet your particular needs, set up your Mac to allow third-party applications to be installed, and I'm going to show you how to install those applications from the web or other sources, and then I'll show you how to remove those applications if they don't suit your needs as well. As a note, to make this tutorial a bit easier to digest, I will be breaking this particular training into multiple screencasts. This will make it much easier to play one at a time and hopefully make a bit more sense. Let's get started. By far, the easiest way to add applications to your Mac is to install them via the Apple App Store. The Apple App Store comes baked into your Mac operating system and should be available on your dock. I'm going to move down to my dock and click the App Store icon. The App Store is a curated list of applications created by Apple. Some of these applications are free, while others will have a price. Developers can apply to have their applications listed here in the store. They'll set the price, but Apple will take 30% of their sales. I will choose an app that I would like to install, like Parcel. Here, I can see a description of Parcel, what's new in the latest version, and if I click these more links, I can get even more information. Below, I can see some recent ratings of Parcel and other apps that are similar to it, and I can also see screenshots. Below that, if I'd like to read full reviews on the app, I can see how many stars each person rated it, as well as the most recent reviews. I'm going to scroll back up to the top and install this app by clicking the blue Install button. Apple may ask me for my username or password at this point, depending on how recently I've logged into the App Store, but once I've authenticated with Apple, it will install the app on my computer. I know this application has been successfully installed because I see the blue button reflects the word installed, but I don't see it anywhere in my dock. So where do I find all of my applications? The easiest way is to hit F4 on my MacBook Air's keyboard to launch Launchpad. Here we see Parcel has been added to a long list of applications already installed on my computer. Launchpad is really neat in the sense that it acts very much like your iPhone or iPad would by listing out all of your applications across separate pages. If I want to uninstall anything I've installed from the App Store, I can simply click on any of the apps until they begin shaking. Any apps that I can uninstall via this method will have an X next to their icon. So to uninstall Parcel, I'll click that X. It will ask me if I'm sure I want to remove this application. I'll click delete, and just like that, the application has been deleted. I can stop this shaking by clicking one more time, and I can close Launchpad by hitting F4 on my keyboard once again. Now you'll notice the application has been uninstalled, and the blue Install button reflects that. But what if I'd like to install an application that's not available on the Apple App Store? Skype is an application that's widely popular across both Windows, Macs, iPhones, Androids, just about any operating system out there. So let's see if I can install Skype from the Apple App Store. I go to the search field and type S-K-Y-P-E and hit enter, and I don't see the official Skype application anywhere. So I invite you to join me for the next tutorial where I demonstrate how to unlock my Mac to allow third-party applications, and then the following tutorial where I show you how to install Skype via a third-party internet website. Thanks for watching.